here's something else to keep in mind. After you've got everything cleaned, you have to get this, you know, all the way and get all the cleaner back out of there and dry it. Well, as long as you get most of it and it looks all the same everywhere, nice and clean, you can let the rest of the simple green set in there because as long as it's wet, it'll keep on working, okay? That's the other thing I like about Simple Green. It's just a good product. Now I told you to let the Simple Green set on here five to 10 minutes. And after I cleaned everything, you know, I waited about 10 minutes there. And after I cleaned everything, I wasn't 100% happy. And so I put some more down in all the seams, and this time I let it set for about 20 minutes. Now I'm going to clean it up because I've got more than just this area to do, and, I, and this is kind of like a test area. And it just depends. Depends how dirty all of your grout lines are as to how long you want to set the simple green on there. Use the concentrate. Use hot water if you can. If, you're, if your water gets kind of warm, that's okay too the simple green still gonna work okay so that let that simple green work in there a little bit more now I'm gonna wipe it up take a closer look yeah I'm liking this a lot better this time not as much water on the floor because a lot of it has dried up you know when your water on there is almost dry you know that's about time to wipe it up Grout lines seem to be just a hair cleaner because all I had to do was let the simple green set on there longer. Now, do you have to use simple green? No, you don't have to. But why wouldn't you want to use that? You know, it's less toxic than most cleaners. It's safer to use. You don't have to breathe it as you're bending over, wiping off the floor, whatever. And it's good for the environment. Okay. And most of the time when I use it, it usually does what I want it to do. Did I mention you're probably going to want to wear non-slip shoes anytime you're working on the floor? You know, this is just going to take up any of the excess water and I can take a quick look after that and see if I have to address any little bits inside the grout lines anywhere because once you get all done don't just think okay that's fine and then later on have somebody point out hey what about the little edge right over here or what about this or that and you think man I could have gotten that had I only had one of these tools or something more bristly. Now see this here? It's a fine brush. It's metal, but it's got the fine teeth on there, okay? You know, something that you would use for your, your barbecue stove, something like that. See, here's that other one I was talking to you about. Same type of thing. These are just a hair stiffer. See, these are gold. I don't know if you can see that. These are gold, and this is more silvery. And this one's not as strong as this. So, you know, they have different types of things at the store. Take a look and see what you need. And get her done.